All right, uh, here we go. Um, animation, how are you doing today? Good, man. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you for coming by to the Lens of Yashu and just, you know, going to, like speaking your piece yes, so far. Yes, sir. Of course. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, great uh, body of work, by the way, with um, change being almost at 100, like almost over like 100,000 on Spotify, too. Thank you, man. I've been working hard. Appreciate sure. it. So I just want to start off with, you know, the beginning in a way, too, because I think most people need to find out. So uh, growing up, uh, what was like your musical history and background like and what inspired you to become like a rapper and musician? Oh man, I fell in love with rap music as soon as I found it at a really young age. Like I was I was on hip hop when I was like six years old and I wasn't like I was just like listening to it, you know, I was, I was attentively listening to it and I was analyzing it. And so I kind of say like I've been studying hip hop since I was, you know, a youngin. And uh, yeah, even before that, I, I was into like rock music and stuff like that because of my dad. He liked that kind of stuff and my mom was a really dope singer. so. I mean, yeah, I guess that kind of that kind of stuff like plays into it, but I mean, it was just a, it was just a natural passion for me, honestly. Yeah, as true, soon true. as I I found it, but something about the lyrics with the hip hop, yeah. that's that's what hit it for me. So yeah. Which means, so I guess like with early influences and such, it would be more like on the two thousands type hip hop, like you know, with Eminem, Snoop Dogg. Even earlier, man. Honestly, like nineties. Yeah, definitely Eminem though. Eminem was like my my big. He's he's the legend and he's he's the greatest to me, but uh. And he was like the first, like favorite artist I had, I guess. But I was listening to lots of like Wu Tang and Mob Deep and, and stuff like that early on too. So true, true. Yeah. And um, so like genres, you said like with hip hop and like rock music too. Um, like usually with those genres, like maybe in the future, like you know, to build up on your career, do you have like any artists that you would like to work with like someday too? Yeah, uh, I mean, there's lots of artists I would like to work with, but mainly probably the guys that are, are doing like the alternative kind of like rap right now or the alternative kind of hip hop, like Tyler the Creator's like Igor Flower Boy style music and um, like Brockhampton. I really like all that kind of stuff and I'd love to work with them because they're just doing something totally different from everybody else. So it would be cool to like explore, I guess, that, that genre. I almost feel like that's a new genre that's becoming it's its own so yeah. yeah I like that kind of stuff I just like anything that's unique really because yeah. that's where it's at I know what you mean I mean just you know going for with like Brock Brockhampton right now like I think right now it's kind of like I don't know if they're still like disbanded or together because I think with everything going on with Amir's like situation mm -hmm. to some like recent allegations and all that type of stuff mm -hmm. too um I don't know if I don't know, like in the situation, if uh, you're still down with the collaborations, just like either with like Kevin or with anyone else too, or do you feel like that the music just speaks more than like what's going on like right now? Yeah, to me, it's like all about the music. Personally, I'd be willing to work with anybody in that group or that has been in that group. So yeah, yeah, I don't know. I, I, it's not that I don't pay attention to politics, but the thing with all that kind of stuff is you never really have a clear story until you're you're there and you know right so as of now you know i'd be down to work with anybody from there i think they're all talented musically so true true and i think just like even with the projects too because they've had the saturation series and residence and also with ginger um out of all those projects what would be like your favorite one by any chance uh probably saturation probably just the first one man maybe saturation too yeah but all all, all three of those are yeah dope I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of prefer like Saturation 1 just because of the creativity and everything else that they've had and then a Residence would also be like my next favorite too. I think just- I really like that project as well for yeah. sure. Yeah, I honestly, I like all their, their whole body of music is, is dope, but yeah, yeah Saturation is my favorite. Yeah, I know what you mean. In I think 2019, like two years ago too, um, you dropped your debut project, Balance, which follows more of like the whole like lyrical rapping and such, you know, just as well as like the nonchalant energy on that project. Tell me about like the creative uh, process for that project and like what inspired you to make it in a way. So, okay, that was my first serious project, but I actually dropped a mixtape the year before that, and it was it was like a similar style and whatnot, but the the mixes on it were really poor and stuff. So, Balance is like the first project that. I can you know say I'm proud of and I would be wanting to promote to people and stuff but um <clears throat> yeah with the like you know relaxed sound and the, the lyricism and stuff it, it really came from definitely Mac was a huge um, influence for that and um, 
just like all, all those like the old school style and like the boom bap and stuff and honestly I was really uh, I was an old head like in high school and I was just one of those people that was all about just old school music only like you know I didn't like any of the new stuff because it wasn't like focused on the lyrics so it was like I just felt like it wasn't you know, it felt like to me like people weren't really trying but I just didn't understand like the new style of music and whatnot yet and so once I came to kind of understand that and I started experimenting with more like melodic sounds and like trap sounds and stuff like that I still wanted to kind of cap off the era of my music or the starting point of my music where I was very like focused on old school music and you know the lyrics and stuff like that so that's where balance came from because I just wanted to make like a, a good project that was focused on the lyrics and it was like kind of an old school style to just have that out and have that for people to hear from me to know that you know I have that technical skill going forward and you know that made me more comfortable with going forward to like